First off, we've got a group of fine folks here in the community. We'd like to take a minute and recognize, and that's our code enforcement uh, officials, um, led here by Miss Minnie Bates. And we certainly appreciate everything that y'all do. So, if y'all will, if you don't mind, we'd like to get a photo. So, commissioners, if you'll come down front, then uh, Miss Dukes has a statement here that she's going to read. Thank you, Chairman Slaughter. Um, our Code Enforcement Department is led by Director Mindy Bates, Senior Officer Gerald Bailey, Officer King Carter, and Officer Robert Ellis. Um, the, the four of, of these staff members cover the 504 square miles that is our county outside the unincorporated area, which as you all know, traveling through the community um, is a tremendous area to cover, and they also have some tremendous challenges when they deal with litter control and those dilapidated houses where people have moved on and um, they have become experts at, at chasing people and finding them states away. In short, code enforcement uh, responds to the concerns from citizens that affect the quality of life within Lowndes County such as overgrown lots, inoperative vehicles, unsafe structures, illegal dumpling, dumping, care of premises, and littering. And I would say that that has a direct impact on how our citizens feel about our community as well as economic development initiatives. In 2020, Lowndes County Code Enforcement entered 2,070 case reports, opened 1,200 new cases from concerned citizens, and worked an average of 100 new cases monthly. Um, again, I think the evidence of their work is seen in, in the beautification we have seen in our community over the last two years. Um, they work really hard, they do a fantastic job in court, and I'm super proud of all of them. So um, thank you for appreciating them. And uh, we will continue to work hard to clean up Mount County.